Welcome to MET 120 Supplemental Learning Modules um, at Old Dominion University. And I'm about to show you how you can create bolts and nuts in um, Autodesk uh, AutoCAD. So first step is to choose the content panel here. So you see wherever you have home, insert, annotate, you will choose the content. And today I would like to show you here under fasteners. You have screws, screw connection, but you can also select nuts here in this region and you can also uh, select screws. So I will show you first how to create uh, screws. So if I go to the AutoCAD, and you see what you usually use is this area where is the home ribbon. But if you move to the content ribbon, you'll be able to access this ribbon where you have a little bit different information about fasteners. And if I click here, you, you, you'll you be able to find more settings related to your fasteners um, application. So for example, I would like to show you how to use screws. So it insert a screw or a bolt from a content library. And if I select this icon and wait for, for a second, and, and here you will be able to find different kinds of types. So for example, countersink head types, hex head, uh, head type, socket head. So if we try to use, for example, if we go screws, you'll be able to select specific thing. For example, you will first click on that icon and then select the, for example, hex head types. And then under that, you can select, for example, heavy hex bolt UNC, and then uh, you will see the drawing. You'll be asked for the insertion point, and then you can put rotation angle. And you will have this uh, uh, family table, and you'll be able to select exact uh, size. So um, I'd like to show you these steps in a second. So if I go back to AutoCAD and um, I selected screws, so I would like to select, for example, hex head uh, types. And if I select heavy hex bolt, for example, UNC, the second one, and then I would be able to select, for example, I would like to see the front view and you can also select the top or bottom view. So I will select the front view. It will ask me for insertion point. I might type zero, zero, if I don't have anything on the drawing. And for rotation angle, I can type zero. And I can see it um, if I click here after I finish. And for example, I might select size, for example, one of these sizes, and I hit finish. And then if I click middle mouse key twice, you'll be able to see the bolt that I just created. So I will delete this one to show you another option. So one more time, all I did is select screw. I went to the hex head type. I selected the second one, the front, and I clicked here zero zero, and I added angle zero, and that's how. I, and I selected one of these values. You see, I can even do on fly the length of my bolt. So that's how I got my 2D bolt. And in this exercise, I would also like to show you how you can get uh, nuts. So it's very similar. Basically, I would go and select nuts. I would have all these different um, options. So the process will be this. I will uh, click on the icon, for example, select hex nuts like I have here on this screenshot, and then go to the hex flat nut, select the front view, specify insertion point. I might put zero, zero coordinates and then specify rotation angle in this case, and then select one of these standard size sizes. So I will go to Autodesk and I'll click on the nut. And um, here you can see what different kinds of nuts you have. For example, I will select the hex nuts in this case, and I might select hex flat nut, maybe the front view, and then I'll select again zero, zero insertion point and angle zero. And then I can select one of these values. So I have hex nut. If you want another one, I can go and select, for example, wing nuts, um, type B maybe, the front view, insertion point, what's my angle, 
and then the size and this is how you will get the nut if you want to see another view you can go and select for example hex nut and if i select uh, for example um, top view i'll be able to, to specify again um, my insertion point and my rotation view Th this is how i will get uh, one of these nuts so thank you for listening to these modules. In a nutshell, I just want to show you how to create basic bolts and basic nuts in AutoCAD.